Hello there guys, welcome back to another video and today is the first in a series of sort of what's coming to some of the UK's biggest Halloween scare events this year. Obviously all these parks will be affected this year because of everything currently going on. I'm trying not to mention the elephant in the room. But we're going to talk about um, what could be coming to to Alton Towers Scarefest this year. I'm going to be basing this off of what was there last year and I'm going to put a prediction or put a speculation on what I think will come back this year and what won't. So to start off with the two new sort of family-ish attractions for last year which was Darkest Depths and the Alton Towers Dungeon. We'll start off with the elephant in the room, the Alton Towers Dungeon. I 100% think that the dungeon's going to come back again. Um, it's still a all year round attraction at Alton Towers, obviously when it's open at the moment. Um, but yeah, I think the dungeon's going to come back. Obviously last year they said there was going to be a less laughing and more screaming. This ended up being Plague Street on the outside of the attraction, which didn't really look that interesting it was just a couple of roaming actors really so yeah uh Alton Towers Dungeon I think is going to come back next Darkest Depths now if you didn't know about Darkest Depths this was this replaced the welcoming be chosen in the Mutiny Bay courtyard and it was in shipping containers and has actually been nominated in the scale awards this year I think Darkest Depths will come back because obviously with it being nominated for uh, the nominations it got in the Scare Awards, I cannot see them not bringing it back. And they even extended um, Darkest Depths' run because it then returned at the fireworks event after Scarefest. So um, if that doesn't say it's Darkest Depths coming back, I don't know what will. Um, just so you know, both of these attractions, the Alton Towers Dungeon and Darkest Depths, were for ages 10 plus. The main 15 plus scare attraction that were there last year. We'll talk about the new, the one that was new for last year, Tower of the Towers, or sorry, Attic Terror of the Towers. This got, I'd say, mostly positive reviews. I think the attic is going to come back. I think it may have an adapted storyline. The Tower of the Towers has become a, an icon at the event ever since it came, uh, ever since they started doing Halloween events back in, I do believe, 2002. Uh, the next maze that was in the towers was Subspecies The End Games. Now, Subspecies The End Games has been at the park since 2015, so it's been there this year, will be its fifth year. I personally think think subspecies probably will come back this year um i know a lot of people are saying they want it to go but i think maybe keep subspecies one more year i think yeah i think this year is going to be subspecies final year next and the final maze in the towers we're going to talk about is altonville mine tours this is an interesting one because before they announced Creek Freak Massacre at Fort last year, I know myself and quite a lot of people wanted a maze very similar to that. We wanted a maze very similar to Altonville Mine Tours. And in a way, we did. We got this sort of evil family sort of theme, as well as the um, sawmill theme. This year, I, f I, I don't think Altonville Mine Tours is going to come back this year, to be honest. It's been there since 2016. I think it's done its time, it's it's always had mixed reviews, you know, and I think it's done its time now, I think it needs to be replaced. Final maze that was at the park last year was Project 42, which was which is located in the Nemesis Subterra building. I'm going to, hands down, I think it's going to come back again for its third year this year. Um, obviously they did change it quite a bit last year. 